Right, just back from golf. Sun is in my eyes right now, but it wasn't um, three or four hours ago when I started playing golf. It was raining heavily. So for the first time this year, I was able to put on my new waterproof jacket. Now then, as modeled right now. So Galvin Green, I think it's called Seen It. I don't even know the proper name. That's the name of the fabric anyway, this new revolutionary fabric they've put into this new uh, range this year. What I do know is, I was mega impressed with it. I go as far as to say, it is definitely the best waterproof jacket I have ever worn. It's certainly the most expensive, and that's the downside. Featured it on the um, Thursday Night Golf Show uh, a few weeks back, and we were saying how ridiculously expensive it was. The price, 349 quid I think, is the RRP for the jacket. That's just the jacket. Trousers, exactly the same price, 349 quid. I think that's a bit crazy money. However, I was lucky enough to get my hands on one a few weeks back. Decided to make a bit of an investment. And uh, right now, it's the best money I've ever spent in terms of waterproofs. And I say that because of these reasons. First of all, it performs well. You'd expect that anyway. So performance wise, rain fell on it, sits on the top, glides off, doesn't hang around on it, doesn't make it heavy in any way. It doesn't even look as though there is water on the jacket as soon as it lands on it so that's impressive but for 349 quid a waterproof jacket the least you would expect is it to be waterproof so okay it ticks that box but it's these added little extras that make a difference first of all this little thing these cuffs i think i don't know it's like a neoprene fabric almost plastic like rubber like rather very very soft around the cuff it's extremely comfortable to wear and it's exactly the same thing around the nape of my neck as well and it just forms a seal between your neckline that again I don't know whether you've experienced it before but when playing heavy rain and the rain's running down the back of your neck I imagine and what Galvin are claiming is this little um, plastic neoprene wherever it is forms a bit of a seal around the back of the neck for again the water to run off and down the jacket rather than down your neck I don't know whether that was, it wasn't raining that heavy for me to uh, suggest that performance well or not. But what I do know, it's extremely comfortable in terms of the fit and again, around the cuffs. And the final thing is the kind of whole weight of the jacket. Seeing it, the fabric, um, this Gore-Tex fabric is a, is a, a layer um, which they're claiming to be extremely breathable, but very, um, very flexible. So it makes it very, very comfortable to wear. And that's the thing that I would notice more than any other jacket. Most golfers don't like wearing a waterproof jacket. When the rain comes down, we all hate that we have to don a jacket. And as soon as it stops, we can't wait to get it back off again. What I would say about this Galvin jacket is it is so comfortable to wear. And even this morning when the rain stopped, it was still a bit cool in terms of the temperature. I kept the jacket on because it was that comfortable to wear. You literally don't know the jacket's on. It is extremely comfortable. And the other thing is, it's very, very quiet. And again, that might be something that's just personal to me. I don't like the sort of crinkle and the noise that some of the jackets make, but this is so soft. Seriously, it is a proper piece of, de uh, of decent kit, this. And uh, like I said, the downside is the money. I'm not suggesting that 349 quid is by any means a bargain. It's a lot of money and it's a big investment. I never bought the trousers. Um, and I think it's worth pointing out, as ever, with all our reviews, totally independent. We didn't get supplied this by uh, Galvin Green. This is uh, out of my hard-earned money. I bought it myself so I can say what I want about it. And that, like I said, if I thought there was anything bad, I can't find a downside with it whatsoever, apart from that price thing. And uh, like I said, if I can uh, perhaps save a few more pennies and justify it, I think it goes far as to say I'd buy the trousers as well and get the full suit, which be a ridiculous amount of money and I hope it lasts me uh, a few years, let's say the least. But, like I said, I'm sitting squinting into the sun right now, but I felt compelled to do a review. I haven't done anything on the clubs for a while, never done a review in terms of waterproof jackets, but uh, I was that impressed. I thought I'd share my thoughts with all of our uh, taggers out there so hope you enjoyed it probably not looking for a waterproof set for a few months yet unless we hope so fingers crossed we get some nice sun but if you do consider making that investment then i can assure you you won't be disappointed with this uh, new set of waterproofs from galvin green right enjoy the rest of the weekend and uh, i'll see you on thursday night thursday night golf show thanks for watching
I'm going to enjoy my, uh, it's Sunday, so I'm going to enjoy my uh, Easter Sunday roast dinner. Hope you do too.